Father's Day toy and comic hunting. Let's see what we found. already follow me here on facebook and instagram for more daily content posted all the time on all three platforms more about that in the end but this father's day me and the old man went out comic and toy hunting we hit up the mulga hill toy show uh found some toys found some comics some other cool stuff uh and then afterwards we went shop popping we went to time lapse vintage with Sue origins comics we went to um play with this and house of fun so we'll talk about what I picked up there, and let's jump into first of all the Mobile Toy Show. Very good time. A lot of lot of good friends of mine set up there, walking around. So it's always good to see people like that. I ended up picking up some cool stuff. Got this this awesome uh, pumpkin head from McFarlane. That's such a great piece. And I also picked up some Godzilla pieces and some comics. I picked up some comics as well. Before we get into the comics, I'll show off. I ended up saying. I think I ended up being 25, 45, I ended up being like 10 a piece, but this one was 15. Um, but some of these guys on 98, the, the military figures, some of these figures are tough to find. Now, these are the most, and I happen to pick them up off of multiple dealers too. And this is the most I've ever seen them in one day. I saw more of them at House of Fun, but uh, he wanted more than I was, I was looking to spend on them. So, I picked up the, what's it, the ATV, right? The, the twin firing motor and spring suspension all-terrain attack vehicle. Still in box. We've got the captured net Felipe. That little figure, he's awesome. And some of these military guys, they're, they're tough. And everyone, you know, every once in a while you find them with dollar bins loose. These guys don't know they're Godzilla figures. This is the ultra attack animal. Actually, I think I have this guy loose. I got him in a blind bag, not even realizing he was a Godzilla figure. And I've got the Double Blast O'Neill. So, that was pretty cool. Picked those guys up for, for pretty cheap. So you don't really see them too, too often. And they're awesome. I think they're awesome, at least. It's cool to find Godzilla figures that aren't monsters. And then I picked some other stuff off of uh, Billy Bead over at uh, Frankenstein Comics. He was set up there. He was doing dollar books. And I'm being, uh, I got seven books for five bucks. And so, we got uh, Kazar the Savage. For 29, Wedding of Kazar and Shana. Great wraparound cover. That great uh, little newsstand there. It's a great issue. It's like one of the keys from that run. Also, Squadron number three. Just a, a book to read. And number two. Some great, great appearances there. We have X-Men Classic number 75. It's early Adam Hughes cover. Some awesome cues. And it's a newsstand. We got Green Lantern 54. There was something to this book, but I always forget what the hell it is. Green Lantern Core 202. This is the second issue when it becomes Green Lantern Core. And then Wolverine 80, the uh, technical first grades of X-23. This is a dumb book, but, you know, for you know less than a dollar, why not? So I picked that, that up off of Bill Bead, and of course, he's got his 4th of July show coming up soon. If you're on a ready, screenshot this and check that out. On 4th of July, he'll have some vendors out front of the store. He'll have, you know, his, his tens. We have for five bucks a piece. And uh, other exciting stuff. And then, you know, the last thing I bought at the Mulga Hill Toy Show was this one lady was selling comics. Uh, Lady and I assume her husband were selling comics. 25 cents, five for a dollar. So I kind of went crazy. I just bought some random shit because it was so cheap. And I figured, uh, you know, I'll, I'll thumb through them. If I like them, I'll keep them. If I don't, I'll throw them in my dollar bins. And somehow I'll still make money on it. So we got Clive Barker Nightbreed. And this has a... This has a mini comic in it or something. I don't know what this is. So, we got Nightbreed number four. Which is cool because I, I, I love the, the Clyde Walker stuff. Oh, this is cool. This is, and here's a, one of the Tortured Soul pamphlets. That is pretty sick. I love this Tortured Souls line. That's cool. So, that's just a neat random thing. The Chaos Bible from uh, Chaos Comics. Days of Vengeance, number one. DC Horror Book. Spider-Girl, the end, number one. I love, I love these, the end stories. They're always, you know, good, good filler books. Deadpool Team Up, number 888. So, you know, some of these maybe I'll thumb through once. Move on, like the Deadpool Max. Actually, it's funny. The uh, the lady had, had said that um, 
she had some other stuff. Well, she had some stuff put aside for someone, but you know, they never came back to pick them up. So I was like, do you mind if I go through them? She said, yeah. And so most of these actually were already pulled by someone else. And I guess they just never came back for them. You know, but for 50 cents or for t less than 25 cents a piece, why, why leave them? You know, you might as well just pick them up when you're, when you're there, you know, but you know, one man's loss is another man's gain. I guess you got Silent Hill Dead Alive number one. And some of these, like, maybe aren't super up my alley, but for 50 cents or less than a quarter, I was like, why not? The boys, I believe this is the last or second to last uh, Wildstorm issue, number seven. I think it's later than Wildstorm one. Uh, Hellraiser, number five. This boom run was is good to pick up. These I don't have a lot of these. I've got a, there's a couple in there. Cloud Parker, The Great and Secret Show, number 11, by IDW. Army of Ashes to Ashes, number one. This is a variant. Yes, it is. It's the B cover. Vincent Price Presents, number one. Um, part of the, the Blue Water series. The Monster Hunter Survival Guide is just a random Xenoscope book. I picked it. Again, it was, it was, you know, so cheap. I was just grabbing random shit, because why not? Spawn in the Dark Ages, number five. Spawn number 12. This is a great spo early spawn issue for some first appearances in there. Seeing Clown Posse, the up and downs of Wicked Clowns, number one. By Chaos Comics. Crawl to me, number one. This is a horrible looking book. And I kind of bought it because of that. Because I like that bad shit. So. Uh, Joe R. Lansdale's By Bizarre Hands. This is an Avatar Press comic. That great head on the pike. It's a wraparound cover there. So for so cheap. DC Comics presents number 72. I figured, again, it's another one where, like, you know, it's Superman, it's the Joker, it's the Phantom. For so cheap, who cares? Even if it sucks, I'll read it once and I'll throw it in my dollar bins, or maybe I'll keep it. Who knows? Underworld Unleashed, number one. This is a nice little spec book here. That's a book to keep an eye out for. The whole Underworld series is really cheap, you know, bin fighters. Voodoo, number one, from the new 52. Simon Dark, number one. The Countdown Era. DC. We've got... The Search for Swamp Thing. Oh. None of these have boards. So they're kind of... I gotta, I gotta board them up. But uh, Search for Swamp Thing, number three, part of the Brightest Day series. This is a great cover. Deadpool Pulp, number two. The Living Living with the Dead, number one. And number two. No, three. But... Uh, Cloud Barker's Nightbreed, number two. And, number one, which is a fairly nice book. You know, first night breed, first appearance of all, pretty much all the major characters. Uh, and then we got Hellraiser, number six, A cover, from Boom Studios. Number eight, B cover. And there's another Tortured Souls thing in there. Godzilla Kid of the Monsters, number two. I don't know if I have this one or not, but, again, I just grabbed both the Godzilla books I saw. Kid of Monsters, number one. I think I have them, but maybe not. I don't know, but for that cheap, I just snatched them up. Rune versus Venom, number one. It's a great book. Great crossover. Kanga versus Gorgo. I actually have the original issue of this, but it's classic Ditko. And uh, I, I was even willing to spend three bucks at first, but I thought that's what it was going to be. But uh, just to have that, because it's awesome. Hellraiser, number 10, B cover by Boom Studios. We've got number 7, A cover. Number 4, B cover. Number two, A cover. And then, uh, Disney's The Haunted Mansion, number four. Some of them was not before. So, all that for, like, $8. It was 44 books. It was $8.75. Sorry about that. So, basically, after I left the, the uh, Mole Hill Toy Show, I went uh, shop off at the first one we landed at was Time Lapse Vintage in uh, Collingswood. And they had uh, a box of comics that had just came in. Nothing was priced. So, I picked up this Tales of the Zombies, number four. Tales of the Zombie, number four. Awesome Simon Dark zombie story. Uh, the Testament of Blood. That's an awesome cover. Just super stellar. So, I had to pick that up. And then this Eerie, number 78. Beautiful cover. Some cool ones here. And it's actually, not only is there black and white stories, but there's a color story in here. Or some color pages in here. That are pretty, pretty stellar looking. So, that's pretty sick. So, pick those up. And then I went over to Secret Origins in Collingsville, the comic store, and picked up, I think, $11 books. So the X-Men 188, nice little first appearance there. New stand, Just League of America 214. Nice reader copy. Return of the New Gods, number 15, for the New Gods run. Secret Origins, number 14, first appearance of Rick Flagg Sr. That's a, that's a great book. 
No Honor, number one, that Michael Turner cover. Nova 18. This is such a great run. Always pick. It's, when you see those Nova books for that cheap, you kind of got to pick them up. Captain Adam, number one. I have a bunch of these for some reason. I just keep on buying them when I see them cheap. Just League of America, 216. Just something to flip through. Firestorm, number seven. First Plastique, if that means anything. Super Troll, number five, written by Neil Adams. I think I just need four, and I'm done that run. And then another copy of No Honor, number one. It's that, what's it, Wizard, Top Cow, Select, Variant. I don't know. It was just cool. Caught my eye. So, for like 11 bucks, why not? Decent little haul. And then, on top of it all, we stopped at uh, Play With This, where my old man picked up a, uh, some awesome in one figures. I didn't pick up anything. I just saw Scott recently, and of course, I, I just recently got these figures, which I did a video for. Go check that out next if you haven't already. And then, uh, I didn't pick up anything at, at uh, House of Fun. But, and it was a good time. It was a good way to spend Father's Day. And I found some pretty decent stuff. Some, some okay deals. Not, nothing too crazy, but some cool stuff. So if you haven't already, follow me here on Facebook and Instagram for more daily content. I quote with uh, you know, a video or two here a week at least in October every day. Um, so multiple times a day. I got multiple shorts coming up a day. You know, one to three usually is where I land uh, on average. And then uh, I post on Instagram throughout the week. I post on Facebook throughout the week. At the Facebook group, Fans Unleashed for a behind-the-scenes look at Connor's comics, where I do polls for upcoming videos, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, and soon, I think the what won the poll was um, five underrated image comics, which will be one of the next videos coming up. So be excited for that. Keep an eye out. Stay tuned. And until next time, peace.